Good morning, everyone. I am Maria Guadalupe from Nive Carvalho Bon. In today's presentation, I will be presenting about managing knowledge and artificial intelligence. Next. In this topic, you will learn four learning objectives. The first one is, what is the role of knowledge management system in business? The second is, what are artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning, and how do business use AI? The third is, what types of systems are used for enterprise-wide knowledge management, and how do they provide value for businesses? And the last learning objective is what are the major types of knowledge work systems and how do they provide value for firms? Next. So first, we will talk about the learning objective one. Next. Knowledge management systems are among fastest growing areas of corporate and software investment. Studies have found that a substantial part of a firm's stock market value is related to intangible assets, which include knowledge, brand, reputation, and unique business processes. Well-executed knowledge-based projects can produce extraordinary returns on investment or ROI, although the impact of knowledge-based investments are difficult to measure. Next. In the next part, we will know about the four important dimensions of knowledge. The first one is knowledge is a firm asset. Knowledge is an intangible asset. The transformation of data into useful information and knowledge requires organizational resources. So here, knowledge is not subject to the law of diminishing returns as are physical assets, but instead, experience networks effects because its value increases as more people share it. And the second is knowledge has different forms. This knowledge can be either passive or explicit. It involves know-how, craft and skill, involves knowing how to follow procedures, and involves knowing why, not simply when, things happen casually. And the third is the knowledge has a location. Knowledge is a cognitive event involving mental models and maps of individuals, both a social and individual basis of knowledge. And it is sticky or hard to move, situated, and contextual. And the last is the knowledge is situational. Here, knowledge is con conditional. Knowing when to apply a procedure is just as important as knowing this procedure. And knowledge is related to context, as you must know how to use a certain tool and under what circumstances. Next. To transform information into knowledge, firm must expand additional resources to discover patterns, rules, and context where knowledge works. So wisdom are collective and individual's experience of applying knowledge to solve problems. This involves where, when, and how to apply knowledge. Knowing how to do things effectively and efficiently in ways others cannot duplicate is prime source of profit and competitive advantage. For example, having a unique build to order production system. Next. Organizational learning is a process in which organizations learn to gain experience through a collection of data, measurements, trial and errors, and feedback. And also adjust behavior to reflect experience by creating new business processes and change patterns of management decision making. Knowledge management is a set of business process developed in an organization to create, store, transfer, and apply knowledge. Knowledge management value chain means that each stage has X value to raw data and information as they are transformed into usable knowledge. Here we have four knowledge. The first one is acquisition, second storage, dissemination, the last is the application. Next. In the figure 11.1, we will know the 
knowledge management value chain. So the knowledge management today involves both information systems activities and a host of enabling management and organization activities. As we can see in this figure, as I mentioned before, there is acquire, store, disseminate, and apply. In the part of acquire, there is business analytics, data mining, neural networks, machine learning, knowledge workstation, and expert knowledge networks. And in the part of store, there is content management systems, knowledge database, and expert systems. And in the part of disseminate, we have portals, search engines, and collaboration and social business tools. And the last is the apply. We have decision support system, enterprise applications, and robotics. Next. Organizational roles and responsibilities. These include chief knowledge officer executives, dedicated staff, or knowledge management. Managers. Communities of practice or COPS is informal social networks of professionals and employees leading an outside firm who have similar work related activities and interests. The activities include education, online newsletters, sharing, sharing experience, and techniques. These facilitate reuse of knowledge and discussion and also reduce learning curves of new employees. Next. Next, we enter to the second learning objective, which we will talk about artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning. Next. Intelligent techniques used to capture individuals and collective knowledge and to extend knowledge base. Here we have, we have four, which with each own techniques. To capture tacit knowledge, the techniques are expert systems, case-based reasoning, and fuzzy logic. The second is knowledge discovery. The techniques is neural networks and data mining. The third is generating solutions to complex problems. And the technique is genetic algorithms. And the last is automating tasks is the technique of intelligent agents. Artificial intelligence AI technology is a computer-based system that emulates human behavior. Next. So as I mentioned before, there is the technique of AI. These are the major types of it. So the first one is expert system. It represents the knowledge of experts as a set of rules that can be programmed so that a computer can assist human decision makers. The second machine learning, it's a software that can identify patterns in very large database without explicit programming, although with significant human training. The third is neural networks and deep learning, loosely based on human neurons, algorithms that can be trained to classify objects into known categories based on data input. Deep learning uses multiple layers of neural networks to reveal the underlying patterns in data, and in some limited cases, identify patterns without human training. The fourth is genetic algorithm. Algorithms based loosely on evolutionary natural selection and mutation, commonly used to generate high quality solutions to optimize and search problems. And you have natural language processing, computer vision system, robotics, and the last is intelligent agents, which is software agents that use built-in or learned knowledge to perform specific tasks or services for an individual. Next. Next, we will talk about the third learning objective, which is about enterprise-wide knowledge management system. Next. Here we have three major types of knowledge man management systems. The first one is enterprise-wide knowledge management system. It's a general purpose firm-wide effort to collect, store, distribute, and apply digital content and knowledge. The second is knowledge works system. 
or QWS is a specialized system built for engineers, scientists, other knowledge workers charged with discovering and creating new knowledge. And the third is intelligent techniques. It's diverse group of techniques such as data mining used for various goals, such as discovering knowledge, distilling knowledge, and discovering optimal solutions. Next. We also have the three major types of knowledge in enterprise. The first one is structured documents, it is for reports, presentation, and formal rules. The second is semi structured documents, it is for emails and videos, and unstructured or tacit knowledge. So, 80% of an organization's business content is semi structured or unstructured. Enterprise content management systems help capture store, retrieve, distribute, and preserve the documents, reports, and best practices, and also the semi-structured knowledge or emails. They also bring in external sources such as news feed and research, and it's as a tool for communication and collaboration, such as blogs, wikis, and so on. Next. The enterprise key content management system has two key problem development taxonomy and digital asset management system. Locating and sharing expertise provide online directory of corporate experts in well-defined knowledge domains. Second, search tools enable employees to find appropriate experts in a company. And the last is social networking and social businesses tools for finding knowledge outside the, the firm. Learning management system, LMS, provide tools for management, delivery, tracking, and assessment of employee learning and training. It also supports multiple modes of learning by CD room, web-based classes, online forums, and so on. It automates selection and administration of courses. It assembles and delivers learning content and also measures learning effectiveness. Massively Open Online Courses, or MOOCS, is a web course open to large numbers of participants. Next. Next, we enter to the last learning objective, which is Knowledge Work System. Next. Knowledge work system is a system for knowledge workers to help create new knowledge and integrate that knowledge into businesses. The knowledge workers include researchers, designers, architects, scientists, engineers who create knowledge for the organization. There are three key roles. The first one is keeping organization clear and in knowledge. The second is serving as internal consultants regarding their their areas of expertise. And the third is acting as change agents, evaluating, initiating, and promoting change projects. Next. Here is the requirements of knowledge work systems. The first one is sufficient computing power of graphics, graphics complex calculations. Second, powerful graphics and analytical tools, third, communications and document management, third, act, act to external databases. The next is user-friendly interfaces. And the last is optimized for tasks to be performed, such as design engineering or financial analysis. And here is the example of knowledge work system. The first one is CAD, or computer aid design. It's a creation of engineering or architectural design, and it is a 3D printing. The next example is virtual reality systems, which is simulate real life environment, 3D medical modeling for surgeons, augmented reality AR systems, and VRML. The last example is the investment workstation. It's a streamlined investment process and consolidated internal, external data for brokers, traders, 
and portfolio managers. Next. So that's all from me. Thank you so much for your attention. And if you have any question, you can ask in our WhatsApp group. Thank you, everyone.